hallelujah 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 we give god thanks hallelujah we bless his name on today hallelujah hallelujah we welcome you we welcome you to our first sunday service hallelujah we welcome you to our first sunday service on today we give god all the honor we give god all the praise because of who he is amen and we thank you for tuning in on today amen we thank you all for um supporting us on today amen and we give god glory for you amen and but most, most importantly, we give God praise. We give him honor. We give him glory. We exalt his name. We magnify his name for who he is. Yes, it's Resurrection Sunday. Amen. And for that, he is risen. Amen. Because of that, he got up. And because he got up, amen, we can get up as well. Amen. And go forth and do what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. So those who know how to praise him, you might as well open up your mouth and give God a praise. You may be in your living room. You may be in your bedroom regardless of where you are just open up your mouth and give god a praise hallelujah because why he is worthy of it all amen he is worthy of it all amen we know we're doing this day virtual amen amen and we give god thanks for whatever he decides to send his word forth we bless him on today we bless him on today hallelujah we bless him on today and once again we welcome you we are hey man the tent of david church and we give god thanks it's been a long time coming but we trust god amen we trust god amen and it's all about the timing when we do things unto the lord when we do things when god said so when we do things when he said you're ready amen and we realize sometimes sometimes we don't move as god would tell us to move amen but I thank God that he don't give up on us. I thank God that he'll still give us another chance to get this thing out. So today, we lunch. Amen. We lunch out. Amen. We go out. Amen. We doing what thus says the Lord. And we bless his name on today. Amen. So we thank God. We thank God. We thank you for joining us on today. And we bless his holy name. Because God is worthy. Amen. And there is a word from the Lord. Amen. There is a word from the Lord. And I know it's going to bless bless you um tremendously on today amen yes it's gonna bless you because i know i know we know we prayed we fasted amen <laughs> oh it's all about god and we just believe in god to move in a in, in a way like never before amen um even in your home we believe in god to move in your home amen uh, if you got neighbors you may be living in an apartment amen you might as well tell them excuse me because god is getting ready to do something amen hallelujah you may be home sitting in your living room come on somebody you still can give god praise amen hallelujah wherever you are even if you in the car come on somebody you are to still give God praise because he's just that good amen it's resurrection Sunday y'all and I am excited I'm a nervous come on somebody but the thing is he's here he's here hallelujah he's here good God Almighty he's here hallelujah why because over 2,000 years ago the Bible declares that he got up amen so with that being said we give God all the thanks on today amen we bless his holy name hallelujah we once again the ten of David we welcome you we welcome you amen and yes 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 um we are the pastors of the tent of David church pastor Jamar who will be bringing the word today as well as myself amen we are the pastors of the tent of david church and we give god glory for that we don't take recognition of our own but we do trust god and we believe in god amen to go before us amen and lead us amen and continue to lead us so those of you who know us or those of you that will come in contact with us amen continue to pray for us as we do what thus saith the lord amen amen at this time i'm gonna call our very own brother josiah with our open prayer on today amen amen Hallelujah. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, yeah, we just thank you, God, for the day, the day that the Lord has made, God, yeah, uh, for Resurrection Sunday, God, yeah, that he rose up on the third day, God, yeah, because you, cause you gave us the strength and all that we need, God, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, 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 amen. I hope you can hear that, amen. He was talking about <laughs> he rose on the third day and he gave us all power, amen. So I was hoping and pray that you able, you was able to hear what um Brother Josiah had to pray about. Amen. Amen. So we thank him. Hallelujah. And with that being said, we just want to give God another praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless your name on today. We thank him and we're going to get open scripture. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. If you can start with me. Uh, here we go. Psalms 100, amen. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth and worth to all generations. Come on and give God some praise, hallelujah. Go ahead and bless his name, hallelujah. We bless in his name, and hallelujah. We can always give God praise regardless of where we are. Even in a time such as this, he is risen. We still give God praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And I just, at this moment, amen, the word is getting ready to come forth. Hallelujah. Um, at this time, it will be Pastor John bringing the word of God. As many knows that he got many gifts. So he may sing a song. I'm not sure. However, he chooses whatever the Lord chooses him to do. But the next voice you will hear is no other than Pastor Jamar Harris. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on. God is good. He's been good to us. Come on. He's been good to us. He's been good to us. He's been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Come on. He loves you so much this morning that he got up. Hallelujah. He got up this morning. He got up. He got up with all power in his hand. Come on. He got up with all power when we ought to give him praise on this morning because how good he is, how wonderful he is, how just he is, how holy he is. We ought to give him praise. Come on for a few moments, just even in your own house, right where you at. Come on, just begin to give him praise. Begin to lift up your voice unto the Lord. Come on, begin to blow the trumpet of your voice and give him praise. Come on, hallelujah. Even give him praise we have to give him glory come on we have to give him honor come on we have to magnify him because he is good and he alone is worthy to be praised come on does anybody know that he's good does anybody know that he's good does anybody know that he's good even in your worst of times in your worst of days you ought to shout and say god is still good he's still good all by himself he's good he don't need no help he's good hallelujah come on we serve a good god we serve an excellent a radical a praiseworthy god amen we're not going to prolong it because we know that some of y'all got some good eating to go get to and all that and, uh, but this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. It was, it was David that said, oh, come, let magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Come on. And we ought to magnify his name together because he's good. Amen. Because he's good. And just because. Guess what? He's still good. He's still good. He's still good. And matter of fact, he's still faithful in the midst of everything that we do. He is faithful.
from from the book of Matthew, Matthew um, chapter number um, 28, Matthew 28. And uh, we're going to read this uh, this portion of scripture for a moment. And if you have it, um, put it in the text, put the text in there as far as the scripture and share it with someone later. Amen. It, 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 we are in Matthew, the gospel of Matthew, the first book of the New Testament. Amen. And we, we, we're going to be in verse number um, 18 is what we're going to look at. We're going to look at verse number 18, chapter 28. I think it's chapter 28 we're in. And we're going to look at verse number 18. Amen. 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 It's good to see you guys that joined in. We appreciate you for, for coming in and, and fellowshipping with us on today. Amen. So here we are. We're going to read this text just a little bit. It says here in, Mat in Matthew 28 and 18, it says, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. He says to them, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. I want two words that I, I, I just really came to encourage you with that the Lord spoke to me with. And those two words are lo, always. And so you can you can tell yourself that if you want to this morning, low always. You have to remind yourself um, when you're going through different low always. He's right there with me. Amen. Amen. And so we can just do a backdrop real quick of the scripture. And what we what we want to look at here is that um, we know what today represents. We know what today is. We know that today is the day that Jesus was rose or rose up from the dead rose up from the grave his hands amen and so we know that if if created the whole holy week you know and we went through all of 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 and remembered all of the things through on our behalf um, if we could go back and just look at a few things, um, we can look at um, Jesus's pathway Amen. to the cross. Amen. Look at his pathway to the cross. Um, and authorities came and they wanted to plot against Jesus in order to get him out of the way because of who he was and all that he was doing. Uh, we know that um, not only did they want to betray him, but also that um, there was a one that Jesus handpicked himself by the name of Judas, who went to the authorities and offered his own help in order to betray Jesus. Isn't it something that that you that you got people uh, that are in your corner that are on your side who 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 claim to be with you, who claim to stand firm with you and to stand beside you. And yet turn around and they 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 betray you. Uh -huh. I was speaking earlier this week and only time that you can be betrayed is if somebody is in your circle. It, it's, it's not so easily being betrayed by someone on the outside, uh, but it is one that is in your circle, one that who, who, who sticks with you, one who has your your um, your best interests in mind, one who. Who, who was once loyal to you, one who might have been your best friend or your, your homegirl or your homeboy. It was that person here that Jesus made friend and connection with and was in relationship with that turned on him earlier this week. And matter of fact, not only did he betray him, if we were to be honest, we could look and see that even Peter himself betrayed him in a way because Jesus already knew from the very beginning what was going to happen. And so he not made he didn't make a prediction, but he he 
told and he prophesied to them and told them, listen, uh, by the time the, 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 the crow um, crocks three times, uh, you're going to you're going to um, deny me. And I don't know about you, but there's been some times in my life where I personally um, in my walk with God, especially when I first started, I betrayed God because I was with him on Sunday. But during the rest of the week, I was with myself and with my homeboys and and I was doing my own thing. But yet we can look here and see that even in the midst of this, he was still faithful until the end. Tell somebody you've got to be faithful until the end. Uh, and, and so we look here and we see that after this happens here, after all of these things begin to take place, after Judas betrayed them, we see here that they sit down and they eat the last supper together. And the one that said that he was going to go against them, the one that betrayed him was even sitting down right there with him. Isn't it something that the Lord will prepare a table in the midst of your enemies for you? The ones that's going to betray you, the ones that talked about you. that said that you that you wouldn't make it so far without them isn't it table with you and dip their hands in the same food that you're eating and 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 drink from the same cup that you're drinking and yet they turn around and smile in your face knowing good and well they're gonna stab you in the back later on this week ah we ought to thank god that god is still faithful that he didn't allow us to die in our betrayal he didn't allow us to to give up and give in in the midst of our betrayal and so we see now god jesus here is as after he begins to go through this he takes takes the disciples and the Bible says that he goes to them and the garden now now let's take a little moment right here and talk about how um, the anguish that he went through the 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 pain that he dealt with even before the cross he was dealing with the pain you got to understand to see some of us are dealing with some stuff even before um we get to the place that god has for us we're dealing with some stuff we're dealing with some things understand what he's dealing with he's dealing with the betrayer who's getting ready to go and betray him he's dealing with somebody who's going to deny him later on in the future he's dealing with some people who's surrounded by him who can't even stay up a few hours and pray with them how many of you got friends that don't that say that they're praying for you but but in actuality they're not really praying for you you've got to get yourself surrounded by people praise they praise when you glorify them, they glorify them. and you've got to get yourself around some people who's going to celebrate the God that is in you and what God is doing in your life tell somebody you got to stay faithful you got to stay faithful in this thing even until the And we see here that after he finishes praying, after he finishes, here comes the kiss of betrayal. Here comes the very one who said that he was going to be with him. The very one that he handpicked. Here he is. Now he's he's talking to him. He's he's doing things to him. He's 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 praying. And now here he comes with a whole army of people. Here he comes. Now he's looking at him. And now he's stuck in this spot now because he he, he can't run. I understand this. He's not only dealing with people. People, but he's dealing with some things eternally he's dealing with some things on the inside of him because the bible lets us know that his flesh kind of it didn't waver but he questioned a little bit he said lord if it be thy will take this cup from me he said but nevertheless if you would just do your will it nevertheless and anybody that have a nevertheless in their spirit that you can say god whatever i've got to go through i know you're gonna get me through it because nevertheless nevertheless if i gotta deal with the haters on monday nevertheless if i have to deal with the money issue on Tuesday nevertheless if I have to deal with the haters all around me nevertheless I will bless the Lord at all times and his praises shall continually be in my mouth tap somebody in here and even in your house and just tell them I'll bless him at all times I'll bless him at all times through the good and through the bad I will bless the Lord and we look here and we see now that he after he is betrayed he is drugged from one judge
Caiaphas, uh, he's brought before him and he's brought before the Sanhedrin uh, and he's brought before Pilate and Pilate sends him back and Pilate does this and Pilate says look I find no fault in the man and look what happens now he begins to give the people what they wanted isn't it something that sometimes God will allow your enemies to get what they want I believe that the Bible says uh, that he reigns on the just as well as the unjust uh, it didn't look just uh, but it was needful it didn't look right but it was needful everything in your life up to this point right now even before the pandemic all the way here has been necessary in your life I don't know who I'm talking to but it's been necessary the pain that you felt the hate that you went through the discouragement you felt the abandonment you felt it was all due because it was necessary unto God then he goes on and they begin to strip him they stripped him and they whipped him and they stripped him of his stuff and they put 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 princely uh robes on him and then they put a crown of thorns upon his head and not only that but then they mocked him and spit in his face the whole way up to the Golgotha now the whole way up to Calvary the whole way they mocked him and they abused him and they and they scandalized him and they spit on him and they talked about him and they kicked dirt at him and they did all kinds of things they lied on him and they did all kinds of things to Jesus but nevertheless he still had nevertheless in his spirit ah you gotta have a nevertheless it's happened I know things don't always seem fair but you gotta keep a nevertheless on your mind knowing that this too shall come to pass uh, everything that you're going through every trial that you've been through every obstacle that you've gone through it shall come to pass it shall be over with after a while uh, and the thing about adversities uh, and the thing about trials uh, is that regardless of what it goes through you can look back and say look where the Lord has brought me from uh, he's brought me Us. Uh, and I thank him because he's still been faithful in the midst of it. Now we move and the Bible lets us know here that they crucified him and we know that he died he died he died and they pierced his side and water and oil came out of him and 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 and, and they they pierced him and then they they took his body and put it in a borrowed tomb and he gave up the ghost on the cross and and he died between two people he died between um a thief and uh and a and he died between uh, people, a thief and a murderer. They died between people that wasn't no good. Understand that you ought to thank God. We ought to thank God that he died for us even in the midst of our sins, in the midst of our mess. Before we ever did it, he had us on his mind. Woo! He had us on his mind when we was yet in sin and, and yet doing what we wanted to do. Thank God that he had us on his mind, that he was willing to stretch himself wide and die on the cross for us not only this now Jesus went as he came of the grave and he begins to walk and he was seen many times from many people and the Bible lets us know here in this particular text he tells some of the disciples and some of the women to go and tell the disciples to meet me over here in this mountain meet me over here uh, in, 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 in what was they at meet me over here in Galilee in a certain mountain and the Bible says that they went there and they saw them here in this 28th verse it says and verse 16 then the 11 of disciples went uh, their way to Galilee into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them to go there's something about making your appointment there's something about you walking in the purpose and going after the things that God told you to go after it's something about you saying yes Lord to your will and to your way yes Lord to all of the things that you want me to do it's something about you, know, you standing up and go doing what God has told you to do and the Bible says that as they saw Jesus as they saw him they begin to worship but even in the midst of them seeing Jesus even in the midst of them and them uh, um, um, being able to touch on him and being able to hear his voice it says here that as they saw him they worshiped him 
but some doubted yeah some still doubted some people just don't believe jesus told some of them he said listen you won't believe except you see what signs and wonders and can i tell you god is about to show some signs and wonders in your life yes they see the jesus in you but they still deny it they see the anointing on your life but they still deny it they hear the word of god coming out your mouth but they still deny it and they're only setting themselves up for the sort of connection and a divine mark and a divine encounter with God because God says you keep denying but I'm going to show signs and wonders tell somebody he's getting ready to show signs and wonders yes yes he's getting ready to show signs and wonders and so the Bible here looks up the Bible here hooks up and it begins to say here and we pick up here in this particular text and it says that Jesus came to them and they saw him and they said that he says to them the first thing that he says is that I have all power it was given to me all power under heaven and in earth understand this that Jesus says well um, uh, I rose up because uh, um, I, I died and, and because I gave up the ghost and now that I'm back here because of this because of this he says I have all power and now because he has all power he begins to commission them he commissions them we were talking earlier today and we realized that in Luke chapter I believe it's verse one where the Bible says that he that he um that that he called the twelve unto himself, and the Bible says that he he gave them power and authority. Mm. Come on now. He gave them power and authority to cast out demons mm -hmm. over all manners of disease mm -hmm. and to cast out devils. And so he had this, and they did. He commissions them to this point here to where it says he tells them go therefore understand what we he's telling us he's saying that there are some places that we've got to go there are some places that he's getting ready to some of us and we've got to go there's some places that we got to stretch out in and we got to move by faith. As go therefore I don't care where he tells you to go just go even if it seems difficult even if it might be a mountain in the way just go even if you got to go through haters and naysayers just go regardless of what he says you got to remember what he told you to do and just go and then it says this I'm almost finished now he says then he says that we ought to teach all nations which means to me which means to me listen to 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 who comes to you regardless Regardless, the gospel has to be preached to every nation. It doesn't matter if they're black, if they're white, if they're Chinese, if they're Asian, if they're African. God says to go unto all the nations and teach all the nations. What are you teaching them? You're teaching them how to be disciples. You're teaching them how to follow Christ. You're teaching them how to stand up in the midst of fear and in the midst of all the things that's been going on in your life. You have to continue to try. well and now again it goes on and says then you have to baptize them he says this is their commission this is their job that they have to do it says that they have to do this and you have to baptize Holy Ghost. This is after he has died. Now he commissions them. He commissions them. He says to teach them to observe all the things that I've taught you. Everything that I taught you. Everything that you uh, that the God that, that I've I ministered to you. Everything that I poured out into you. You've got to teach other people. You've got to teach them how to live holy. Teach them how to be just again um, to everybody else. Teach them how not to judge people based on their appearance. Teach them that you ought to um, when you see somebody that's fallen to pick them up instead of talking about them and putting them down we've got to teach his concepts and his law and so then the last thing here is what he spoke to me on and he says lo I'll be with you always and I just want to remind you and encourage you on today that regardless to what you go through in your life regardless to what comes and what goes you've got to know that Jesus made a promise to you that he said I'll be with you always lo I'll be with you even until the end of the earth so that means matters where you go or who you encounter or what you encounter you know that he said I'll never leave you nor forsake you yes you're going to go through some heartaches and pain yes you're going to deal with some trials and some issues yes you're going to have some ups and downs and feel like life is a roller coaster and you're going to feel 
don't care about what's going on. But in the midst of all of this, you've got to remind yourself that he's with me. He's with me when I go through the valley. He's with me when I go through the storm. He's with me when I have to go through the pit. He's with me, and therefore I can give him praise. Amen. If, I, if you don't remember anything else on the day, just remember that he said, Lo, always. <laughs> Lo, always. That means no matter what, forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> always is ongoing and always is abiding all the time. And so we got to give him praise and give him honor on today. God bless you. And may heaven continually smile upon you. And we pray that you have had a wonderful Resurrection Sunday. Thank you for joining us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come on and give God some praise. Give God some glory. Hallelujah. Jamar Harris. Amen. What a word. Amen. What we heard from the Lord God. We just give him thanks. We give him thanks. And like I said, it was our first. Amen. It was our first. Amen. Jamar. It was our first. Amen. We just thank God. We got our kids here. And they just doing just a little bit of things. But we give God glory in spite of because we learning to move forward. Any means necessary. We got to do what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And we give God thanks on today. We thank God for the blessed word on today. Because God used the men of God on today. And we just thank the Lord for all that he is doing. Amen. And um, just we're going to just pray out right now. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, God. We thank you for the word that was spoken on today, God. We thank you, God, for the ones that tune in on today, oh God. I pray, God, that everybody that tune in on today, oh God, that they will bless, oh God, that you will contain a strength and them, oh God of you oh God like never before father God we thank you God that your son um rose God yes God over over 2,000 years ago God even in that because he got your name because of who you are God we give you all thanks on today God hallelujah in Jesus precious name we pray we thank you with Oh, Minister Bush and Pastor Bush, amen. We thank you for all for tuning in on today. We thank you for Pastor Purcell tuning in on today. We thank you, amen. We give God glory for everyone that tune in on today, amen. We thank you. We see many names up there. Can't call everybody, but you know who you are. Hallelujah. We thank Mr. Christine Lambers, Minister Troutman, Deacon Troutman. Come on, somebody. Those are people that support us, and we thank God for them. Amen. We thank God for them. I don't want to miss nobody. I saw um, Deacon is Jackson, I believe, up there. We just give God glory, and we thank you, and we thank you for your support. We thank you for your prayers, and we ask you. Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen.